friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Desiree and on my channel you will find a lot of grocery hauls, coupon deals, money saving tips and just mom life stuff. So today is another product review. Um, they're pretty new to my channel. I've only posted one other product review and I will link that below. It was on the Rock Plus reversible um, grill griddle um, and yeah I'll link that below and you can see what I thought of that product. And just a little side note, these products that I am sharing here, I am not um, being paid to say so. I am not being sponsored by them. I just find new things and want to share my experiences with them if I think they're worth it, um, worth buying or not. And yeah, so this is my only second review and you guys seem to like that first one. So I'm just gonna, as I buy things, I'm going to share how I feel about them. So yeah, today's product is on the bug bite thing. So it says www.bugbitething.com and I will also link it below um, in Amazon and that is using my Amazon affiliate link. So if you do purchase this product through um, Amazon with that link, I will get a small, and I mean very small commission back. But if you do buy it through there, I appreciate it. So yeah, the bug bite thing. It is mosquito season here in Kentucky. And I am someone that even like early spring, I will be bitten. There could be one darn mosquito in the entire state and I will get bitten for every one bite that my son and husband get, I get like five to 10, like seriously. They just love me. I guess it's my blood type. I'm O positive. Does that mean that mosquitoes like me more or something? It could, it could. Um, some people say that that is true. But yeah, this new little product. I got this because I had some extra FSA, like, um, or HSA money, anyways, back. So I think I got it from the FSA store. Um, and yeah, I needed, I had about a hundred dollars or so to spend. And if you don't have that type of account, it's a use it or lose it type system. You're supposed to use it by the end of the calendar year, but they give you like three months grace period, at least my, um, ours does so we I had until mid-march to spend it so I typically will buy like a bunch of first aid stuff um, at that time and this was considered a first aid product so I'm gonna read you a little card it came that came with it um, just so I can say what it is supposed to do <laughs> so it says bug bite thing it's an insect bite and sting suction tool so it sucks out insect saliva and venom from the skin, which I guess, to my understanding, makes you um, itch. So there's the thing. So not ticks. T don't. This doesn't work on ticks. Um, it helps alleviate itching and swelling. So it says for best results, use immediately. I'll talk more about that in a second. We do not recommend using on the face or neck. So not on the face or neck. Um, place. So this is like the instructions. It says place the tool over your bug bite. So say I got bit on my hand, which I've gotten bit on my hand before. Um, pull handles up slightly until you feel suction, which is pretty quick. Hold for 10 to 20 seconds and push down on handles to release suction. On children or sensitive skin, it says to start with the handles about halfway up so that the suction's not as strong, I guess. And hold for five to 10 seconds, so a little less. Says tip, allow your child to get familiar with the tool before they get bit or sting to make sure that it's like not a terrifying experience because there is a little bit of a suction. It's kind of like a cupping type tool um, and it has removable parts. So use with adult supervision because this cap, no, there you go. The cap comes off. So if you have like a big sting or bite, you can do like that, see, so it's bigger versus if you got bit on like in between your fingers, which I have before because I get bitten everywhere all the time. There's a little, a little suction hole. It says cleaning instructions, wash with a wash the removable end with soapy water or alcohol wipe between uses and avoid getting the pump portion wet and, or else the tool will lose its suction ability. And there's tutorials and stuff on the bugbitething.com. But yeah, so I read everything on there. So my experiences with this is, like it said, use it immediately. Use immediately because um, I've used this three to four times already in the past month. <laughs> because Yeah, bugs love me. Um, and 
I remember getting bit for the first time and it was still like early spring. I was like, oh, I need to try, try my, my new bug bite thingy out and um, got it out and I used did the instructions. I held mine for over 20 seconds, I would say, or it just wasn't cupped on there good because I didn't realize that this was removable. So um, I hold, held it there, let it go. I'm like, I wonder if this thing is going to work like better or um, than hydrocortisone or anything. And it, it, I think it did work. Um, like I said, I held it a little longer because it still was itching me. Um, and then, yeah, like I followed the instructions and I have to say it did work. It worked better to me than using hydrocortisone um, because even with that, you still feel itchy um, better than Germex because I have used that before and doing the crisscross on an itchy. Do you guys do that? What do you guys do after you got bit? Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I grew up doing like a cross on it and I don't know if that makes it worse or better. Yeah, we think it made it better, but who knows? But I have to say this, if you're trying to avoid like um, hydrocortisone, which is like a st steroid, um, it, it does work. However, you can't use it on your face, which I, my son and I both get bit on our forehead sometimes. So yeah, you can't use it on that. You just kind of have to suffer with that one. But I have to say, if you use this, have it in your purse, pocket, backpack, whatever. If As soon as you get bit, it does work. It works for me. However, if you're like, we went for a walk went for a walk I got bit like immediately came back to the house and sat on the porch for a little bit and I was like scratching at it and stuff and then I went in and tried to use this and it was it was too late like I probably me scratching it didn't help at all it probably was already like the saliva from the mosquito was probably already soaked into my skin or however that works um <laughs> and yeah I was I was itchy so I did end up having to use hydrocortisone but if you use this immediately, and like I said, you are really highly against using hydrocortisone or any of those anti-itch things on your children or yourself, I think it's worth getting. I think it was $10. Um, like I said, I'll link it in my Amazon, using my Amazon link below. But yeah, if you're interested in getting it, I say it, it does work if you, like I said, use it immediately. Now what I use, like before getting bitten, I tried to use off and all those things, but like I said, the mosquitoes, they love me. <laughs> like they just, they just always bite me. So yeah, if you're interested in this bug bite thing or use my Amazon link. And yeah, if you liked videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe below if you're new and want to see more videos from me or any of the other types of videos that I said I post. Um, earlier in this video, please hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. And I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed day. Bye everyone.